a tough time to be a DC sports fan, man, I tell you. This is not how I envisioned making my debut of covering the Washington Nationals on my channel. Honestly, I didn't. But just as much as I, I love my skins, I love my Washington Nationals. It goes football number one, baseball number two, basketball three, and hockey four. I love all my teams, but I just don't think you guys knew that I love baseball just as much as I love football. I think those are on the equally the equal playing field, but I'm putting the Redskins first, obviously. But um, I'm just as a big as much as I'm a Skins fan, I am a Nationals fan, and I didn't I didn't envision my my debut of covering the Nets to be this. Honestly, I didn't. But I guess God has other plans, man. And I really thought my first video of covering the Nets was going to be something positive. Something that was going to get fans excited. My first video, I was hoping to be a preview of opening day. Nets versus Yankees. More importantly, Max Scherzer versus Garrett Cole. Juan Soto versus John Carlos Stanton. I thought that was going to be my first video of covering the Nets on this channel. But... Fortunately, God has other plans. So, YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video. And in today's video, we have some Washington Nationals news that that's going to get the whole fan base sad. Uh. <laughs> but I'm just here to break you guys the news. So, according to JPA Football, or Baseball rather, the National star Juan Soto is quarantining after coming into contact with teammates who tested positive for COVID. 19. So, uh, <laughs> we can't catch a break, DC sports fans. We can't catch a break. Whether that's Redskins controversy with changing the name. Now it's bad baseball. Bradley Bill just said he was sitting out earlier. We, we can't catch a break, man. We can't catch a break, bro. Honestly. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Comment section saying JT Ramuto. But uh oh man. I, I really and, and I don't I'm not gonna be stressing too much about it. I know it seems like I am, but I'm not stressing too much about it because if it if it would came out confirmed that he had COVID, oh my lord. But it says that he's self quarantining after coming into contact with teammates who tested positive for the coronavirus so I guess that's a positive because he doesn't have it yet but he's just taking precaution but then again um reports came out from Nationals Park the reason why we canceled practice yesterday is because tests were taking too long to get back if you don't if you don't recall but yesterday Sean Doolittle made had an interview and was like that he got tested Thursday and now it's Monday and his his test hasn't came back yet so therefore they canceled practice because of that and that's just, uh, it's not even the Nationals that's just suffering from that. Teams like the Houston Astros, uh, the Texas Rangers, Joey Gallo is still awaiting his second um, test. His first test came back negative, but then they did a cotton swab with his spit, and it came back positive. So now he's in his house self-quarantining, waiting for his second test. And like I said, teams like the Nationals, the Houston Astros, and also the St. Louis Cardinals are, wait, can't, are waiting to get their test back. They can't get out on the field like every other team is doing right now. So they're somewhat stuck behind. Stuck behind. And just when I thought the Nationals, you know, could have repeated possibly. But now I'm not too sure. We already had Ryan Zimmerman sitting out. We had uh, uh, Joe Ross sitting out. Possibly our fourth ace. Now we get here with this. Probably the big no, Matt probably is the biggest blow to our season and our team. This guy was the NL MVP, in my opinion. And I know y'all saying, well, this dude says Haskins gonna be the MVP. Now he's saying Juan Soto's gonna be the MVP. What's gonna be next? John Wall MVP? No, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. I I made, saying Haskins gonna win MVP is a is a a a bold prediction, and I highly doubt that happens, but. In this case with Juan Soto, I was being serious. 34 home runs last year. Showed up big time in the playoffs. But now that he's he's coming in contact with people that have corona on his team, that's not somewhat of a bad news only because it didn't come out confirming that he had uh, corona. 
But it is a bad sign because it's players on the Washington Nationals who has corona. And that is that hasn't came out yet. The report has not came out of who exactly has coronavirus, but I will bring you guys the video when that does happen. But now we do know players on the Washington Nationals have coronavirus. <sighs> Tough time to be a Nats fan, man. I tell you. Uh, after winning the winning the uh, World Series in 2019, we're I'm thinking we could repeat or possibly, you know, make the playoffs again. You know, baseball is it's harder to repeat, but uh, I was hoping that we could make the playoffs again this year. But with our first baseman sitting out, I know we got Eric Thames, uh, uh coming back. Um, uh, Joe Ross, he's sitting out, who was solid, not really that that effective with us having Strasburg, um, Max Scherzer, and also Patrick Corbin. I think that we were we weren't going to really be suffering that bad of the hand of Joe Ross. But then again, we need every pitcher that we can have, possibly have. Um, and I think honestly, I think when Annabelle Sanchez is clicking, he's a fourth ace. But obviously, Bad Dog doesn't think so. Uh, I commented yesterday in his stream, and he didn't think that Annabelle Sanchez was a fourth ace. But uh, this is tough, man. This is tough, honestly. I really hope that Juan Soto is okay, and he doesn't have a uh, have the the attraction because we really need him out there. We really do. And now I wouldn't even be surprised if he doesn't want to come back and play. I don't fault him for it if he doesn't want to come back and play, but it's going to be a big blow to the season. Honestly, this guy was was supposed to have a dominant season this year, and I'm saying supposed to like it's over because it's not because he doesn't even have corona yet. It's not it didn't come out as a full report uh, that he confirming that he had corona, but I'm just saying if he does, it was supposed to be a good season. He was supposed to be NL MVP, uh, uh, an NL MVP race up there with Cody Bellinger, Christian Yelich. You can throw Ronald Acuna Jr. in there, Pete Alonso. But now, we don't know if he does have it. Like I said, if he does have it, I hope he doesn't. I'm praying that he doesn't, because this guy was supposed to be a monster. You know, having uh, letting go of Rendon, him going to the Angels, losing him to um to the Angels was just going to put more weight on his shoulders and give him more opportunities in the batting lineup and more more time to shine. And now we we got we wait and see. We wait and see what happens with Juan Soto and the Washington Nationals. I pray to God because this is my favorite DC sports athlete. Honestly, I love Juan Soto the death. And if you if you follow me on social media, you know that uh I, he's my favorite Nats player. Second will probably have to be Michael A. Taylor or Victor Robles. Um, but one is Juan Soto, and if I had to pick a DC favorite DC athlete out of all teams, all my teams, it would probably be Helm, Ovechkin, or oh, no, 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 Helm, TJ, TJ Yoshi, and uh, uh, Dwayne Haskins. And for the Wizards, I would probably go with Bradley Bill, of course. But if I had to just pick one, it would be Juan Soto to represent all. But uh, we're going to see how this plays out. As always, me and Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me, um, let me know if you guys are interested in baseball like I am. I'll bring more covers like this uh, for you guys, covering the MLB and also the Nationals, especially with this being on the watch and, and the people that have contracted uh, the, the virus. I really hope it's no one like that we really need. I mean, we need everyone, but I really hope it's not someone that's just as important as Juan Soto. Please, God. As always, me and Boy Juan got it. Like, comment, subscribe. Hello to the Redskins, the Nats, the Caps, all those, all those teams. But more importantly, prayers for Juan Soto. Please don't have the virus because we need you. Peace, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below about this. I'm out.